it's already fast becoming so uh, there's a huge number of people who are traveling down there today cruise ships are, are phenomenally uh, popular particularly from south america uh, they go out from um, Argentina and uh, Chile, Punta Arenas and uh, Ishuaia in Argentina. And they go down, it's a relatively short journey. Pretty wild though. Uh, the Drake Passage is, uh, I think the uh, place is some uh, fantastic statistic that uh, it's a place where most people are, are sick in any concentrated space. Uh, <laughs> all the, uh, the current, the Southern Ocean basically gets pinned down as it's circulating around Antarctica and has to go for Drake Passage between South America and the Antarctic Peninsula and the seas there are notoriously rough so um, in spite of that people still want to go which is great <laughs> um, there is a protection element to all this Antarctica as you know with the treaty uh, the Antarctic Treaty is preserved for future generations in science and peace um, the result is that people have to look after it as much as possible and that means that when tourists are going down much like the rest of us you have to make sure that you're not transferring bits of plants, mud, soil, anything like that into Antarctica and actually the operating companies for all the ones I've seen have been remarkably good. They, they take their environmental protocols incredibly seriously. Um, I've last couple of times I've been down with a company called Antarctic Logistics and Expeditions. A couple of the directors are actually Australian and that goes out through Punta Arenas in southern Chile and they fly into the Ellsworth Mountains. And they take this uh, this uh, Aleutian, this big Russian uh, plane, which was uh, designed to uh, bomb Western Europe when there, when there was a fear of war and landing fields and things like this. So it's great for landing in Antarctica. And uh, they fly down. And just to give you an idea of ticket prices, I mean, this is not cheap, this endeavor. Um, it's an amazing experience, but it's not cheap. You're talking tens of thousands of dollars. And for that, they'll fly you into Union Glacier, which is this incredible environment and people go skiing or climbing in the local environment but they then take other people off to do other pursuits so they'll take people up to the South Geographic Pole and then bring them back and um, they'll take other teams up to Mount Vincent which is across the glacier, Minnesota glacier that's the highest mountain in Antarctica and there is a huge number of people out there who are trying to climb all the, the, the high mountains the seven peaks they call it, the highest mountain in each continent and so you have to do Antarctica and so Mount Vincent is very popular and they have a base camp there and people walk and climb Mount Vincent and get their, get their name on that. But uh, it's, it's remarkable how popular these places are.